Looking around in Europe today, realizing the neo-fascism growing up day by day, um, we need to remember what took place out on that island, what right-wing extremism can look like. So by that, I felt I needed to go into this material, spend time to see how would it be possible to put that story into a film. When words can describe parts of what it was to be out there, um, they are limited. But the emotional impact, the emotional story, how to bring the audience out there on that island to describe how these young people were realizing that they were out there in that situation was sort of, you know, uh, how to put that into a film. And by the time when I realized that the story on July 22nd could be limited to what took place on the island and that I wanted to show it from the young people's perspective entirely, um, I, um, I also saw that I wanted to show that uh, as sort of like a one long take based on the fact that they were out there for 72 minutes without anything happening. Uh, I also decided that I wanted to do it in that one long take to show time, time itself, which is hard for us to show in films. We can express almost everything today, but the element of time is hard to describe. It's hard for me still here to, to, to go further into what the functions of the film might be. It was finished two and a half days ago, three o'clock in the morning on, uh, on a Friday morning. So uh, uh, you must excuse me for not having the big analysis yet. On uh, Hearing about this movie, I first, at first I was very critical because I thought that it was too early, like so many others in Norway, I thought that it was too early. And like so many others from my generation, we actually spoke about it, me and my friends. And, uh, but reading the script and learning that the focus would be on the, the youth, the teens on the island, rather than the man who stood behind all this, was really important to me. And also uh, speaking to Eric and learning that uh, all the adjustments that was made, that everything would be in one take and uh, that there would be no music on the footage, no, no editing of the fo footage, I thought was, uh, was really, it made it really um, simple for me to, to say, not simple, but um, I guess I, um, I thought that if we were to make a movie about this, then this would sort of be the correct way to do it. And that's why I said yes to the project. Uh, this summer it will be seven years ago and for us who didn't lose our lost one or our loved ones seven years is quite a bit of time uh, but for those who were strongly affected by this incident and had loved ones on the island they still live with this as it was yesterday you know so so if it's two years or four years or seven years it doesn't really matter that much uh, it has been really important for us to share uh, the unfinished film with those most strongly affected from the, from the tragedy and from, from Utea specifically. Um, and they have seen the movie already, uh, those who wanted to see the movie and given us feedback during the last sort of the sections of post-production and, and changes we could do. Um, and I think everything we are doing now, marketing-wise, and that's also why we don't have a clip out now, mm -hmm. uh, which I know that the press is not very happy about, uh, is, is to make sure that everything we do is with a lot of respect for, for those people. Working uh, on this film, it's uh, been, I'd say, an honor to work with such talented people. And uh, to me, the the core, the reason for doing this is telling the story that for so many people has been impossible to tell. Because uh, when I try to explain what I experienced, uh, I only, I'm only able to tell it from a distance. And that's where film and the, the art of film 
uh, can tell a story in a, another way that writing uh, or speaking cannot. Uh, and also it's preserving a part of uh, Norway's history. Uh, and the third reason for me is uh, also to, to capture and to show what right-wing extremism can lead to. This is hate in its purest form. And as a society, we have to stand together against that.